Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And you know, with uh, all these planes and stuff being made out of, you know, fragile materials like foam, foam. stuff like that, every once in a while you're gonna get dings in it. Hanger rash. Kind of like this little guy right here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but a little little nick in there so you can see uh, underneath that the paint job. assembly too. Yeah. Yeah, that, it didn't even get to fly before I put that. That was my thumbnail just digging in when I was trying to do the rigging. Yeah, he doesn't cut his nails. No, but you could try to find the right paint to match and everything. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But there are other options out there. Better options. That's right. You can weather your plane. Yes. Especially with a nice old warbird like this. Yeah. It actually looks a lot better. Yeah. To just give it some this, give it some love. This is what it looked like back in World War One. This this is the, the the techniques that would actually do it. Because they were flying, you know, the oil spitting everywhere because the engines weren't very good. That's right. You know, flak coming from the ground, uh, dusty fields are landing in constantly. Mm -hmm. These planes got dirty. They didn't stay pristine and pretty. No. You know? So we put a little nitty-gritty on it. Lots of different things that you can do, lots of different techniques. And so we're just gonna show you the few of the ones that we did. Yeah, and we want to give a shout out to someone special. Chris Roncaglione actually demonstrated this and he is the person behind this artwork. He's the artist behind this. Yeah. So and, thanks Chris. Yeah. And happy birthday Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. It's Chris's birthday, do you know that? Yeah, but it's probably not when they're Not watching. when you see it, it won't be his birthday. Yeah. So, so don't send cars, because mm -hmm. it'll be late. Please don't. Don't do it. All right, well, first thing we want to show you guys is uh, charcoal. So one thing you can do with charcoal, take a knife, chip away at it, make it into a nice little powder, and then just dip a, a paintbrush in a dry paintbrush, and uh, you can see all the dark marks that we have going along here. You can just lightly apply all those, especially in areas where you have uh, two pieces bonding together. You know, you would typically have some buildup of some dirt and grime in there. So it's good to put them in there. And always make sure that you put them in the direction of airflow, obviously, because you don't want to be going across the plane that just wouldn't look natural. Yeah. Unless you're flying sideways, like a sidewinder. And, and what this does, because the foam models oftentimes add a lot of detail, such as the uh, rivets and the, the stitching. Mm -hmm. um, when you put the charcoal on it, it really little... accentuates them. I was gonna say, that's good. I Makes thought that was a made up word, but apparently it isn't. No, it's a real one, Josh. Wow, Welcome to real world world. Real world world. Now we'll work on that later. Yeah, we will. All right, now, wood. Wood. Wood, which those are plastic, but they're supposed they to be wood. You can take some oil colors, and uh, you know, we, we have uh, burnt umber here, we have uh, sienna here, and uh, you can just kind of apply a couple different textures, a couple different, like a variety of, of color. And uh, obviously you wanted to keep it going basically the same direction, wood grain, create a wood grain effect. Uh, but yeah, it just gives it a different dimension, gives it more uh, reality. It now, looks like wood. If you have light wood, you go with the dark paint. That's right, and if you have dark wood, you can go with the lighter paint. Simple as that, people. And there's all kinds of different paint that you can use. Uh, you can pick these up at a hobby shop. You got rust paint, uh, which she did actually use here on the side. Nice rust effect. Uh, leather, brass, in case your plane has a trumpet on it. I think that was what they did the machine gun belt with. Oh, okay. Brass, right there. Yeah, it's good for trumpets the bullets, too. The, the bullets are... All yeah. kinds of different paint colors that you can pick Lots up at a hobby them. shop. Yeah. It's, it's exactly what they're for. Yes. Well, long story short, a couple hours you can hide a multitude of sins and make your plane look super scale. Yeah. And when this thing's flying by or when it's standing still, it's going to look great. That's right. And, and that's the big thing is you guys don't have to get frustrated when your plane gets dingy and dirty because, you know me, my nasty hands. I'm always touching white airplanes and making them grimy and that's just right. nasty. You know, now you can cover that up and make it look more scale at the same time. That's right. Now, did you talk about how you seal? Because putting charcoal on is not going to It's not going to stay on. No. A good way to seal it is with some nice lacquer, spray lacquer. And you can get shiny or you can get a matte finish. With the Warbird like this, rustic looking, go matte. Yeah, you want matte. You don't want it to look like a spaceship. No, not shiny. Shiny's not real. No. Not good at all. So that kind of seals the deal and uh, keeps everything on there, keeps your charcoal and even your paint from coming off too easily. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Stone Cat Productions for sponsoring this episode. And make sure you guys go to our website and read articles, go to the forum, just create traffic on the website. Traffic is good. Matter of fact, traffic will be our lifeblood. Yeah, it draws attention and yes. enables us to do more. And also the forum, uh, we've actually had a lot of people comment on how friendly and helpful the forum is. Mm -hmm. uh, Blood Test Forum isn't there to dog you, bro. We're there to help. Yeah. And there's a lot of people, more people than us, that know what they're talking about. A lot more than us. They know more than Yeah, they know more do. and they are more. Yeah. So make sure you guys check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this is kind of two-faced. Yeah, you want to fix that problem? Yeah. Well, actually, let's go ahead and add some more dings to it. Cool. Okay.